Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about your Calendly account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you set up paid appointments in your Calendly account? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to set up paid meetings in Calendly anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, maybe doing coaching calls, you know that it's important to have your customer pay before the meeting. So that way you don't waste your time with them canceling. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's actually handled here in your Calendly account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I've already logged into my Calendly account and this is the home screen. Now, before we go any further, I want to let you know, in order to accept paid appointments in Calendly, you will have to connect either your Stripe account or your PayPal account. If you need help with that, go back and watch my other video that describes that in detail. However, in this video, I'm going to show you where you can find connecting your Stripe and PayPal. But first, in order to set up a paid meeting inside of Calendly, you want to go ahead and create a new event right here. Once you do that, go ahead and choose the meeting type. So for the purpose of this video, I'll just do a one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and choose a host. So for the host, it's just going to be me. So I'm going to click next. Okay, so here we can go ahead and name the event. So YouTube consult one on one. All right, next we can go ahead and disclose how long the duration is. Let's say it's a one hour. And then here you want to go ahead and list a location. So are you going to do in person? Or are you going to call them? You can connect your Zoom and then do a Zoom meeting. And then also you can click here and connect via all of these options. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to do a phone call. Okay, so here I'm going to go ahead and say that I'll call the invitee. Okay, I'm going to click on next. Continue right here. Okay, guys, so here is where you can go ahead and make this a paid meeting or a paid appointment inside of Calendly. So you can go ahead and set this meeting up just like you normally would. But the only difference to make it a paid meeting is you're going to go ahead and click on this section down here. It's called booking page options. Okay. So like I said, as far as setting up the meeting inside of Calendly, it's just going to be like any other meeting you might've set up. However, in order to make this a paid one here in this section, you're going to scroll down until you see this right here, collect payment. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to get the option on how you want to receive payments. So do you want to go ahead and accept payments through Stripe or PayPal? So I'll go ahead and leave it at PayPal. And then here you can go ahead and list how much should be collected. So we'll just do $500 and 25 cents. So as you can see here in the event or meeting inside Calendly on the scheduling process, they're going to be prompted to pay this amount before being able to schedule. Now, if you have any terms as far as like cancellations or how soon they need to cancel, you definitely put that here. So maybe I'll put no refunds if not canceled within 24 hours of appointment time. Okay. I'm not going to go through the rest of the steps on setting up a meeting. So all of this is basically the same for any kind of appointment that you're going to allow to be scheduled through your Calendly. But as you can see, the payment is right there. Now, like I said, you do have to connect your Stripe or your PayPal in order to receive those payments. So let me go back to the home screen and show you how to find that. Okay, guys. So here is the meeting that we just created right here. So we have the request for payment during the booking process. And in order to receive those payments, we need to connect PayPal or Stripe. So what we're going to do is over here on the left bar, you want to scroll down until you see these kind of four little dots. This is the integrations and apps. Click on there. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to see all the different apps that you can add into your Calendly. However, in order to make this a paid appointment, you want to scroll down until you see this right here, payments. Okay. So once you do that, you're going to see Stripe and PayPal. So you want to go ahead and integrate whichever payment method that you are going to be accepting. We clicked on PayPal. So I'm going to click here. Okay. Once you click in there, it's going to give you information on how to connect your PayPal to your Calendly. And that way you can accept payments as a paid appointment inside Calendly. Again, if you need help connecting your PayPal or your Stripe, go back and watch my other video that describes that in detail. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to set up paid appointments inside of your Calendly, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.